tell me Gorm still lives, Eivor? It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. A vast king. Too much blood has been... And who better to lead us to glory than me? But they say a wise king seeks... I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. This saddens me, noble girl. And does your wife agree? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Luvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrat, you lie! Hold, Ava. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Ava wolf kissed. You are Kjotve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? I would send him to hell as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die. Villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl, and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stubion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I dream of a glorious death. But not at the cost of betraying my family. You intrigue me, Wolfkist. Orphan and sibling, warrior and poet. You are many in one, it seems. You know much about me. I have eyes and ears everywhere, as any effective king must. Would you not be one of my ravens? I'm bound to Sigurd, and he to me. 
But if fate should cross the threats again... I understand. Yet should your fortunes change, you are welcome in my hall. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Arrows call us. He is already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. You there! Harold may what be you young, doing? but he's clever. You Do not words, underestimate him. Sir. He came of age very quickly. Soon, him. guide me. Dice never caused any harm. It's Avo. Open the door. Come in, but keep your voice down. You will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kurtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harald's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would have... No! That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. You would start us with nothing, in a land we do not know, among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If we go, we will need all the help we can get. I say we take cut the spoils for our own. I abhor such theft. But if this is what it takes to sway you to my cause, I accept. Styrbjorn will prosper by the generosity of his new king. Kjotve's goods belong to us. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us?
For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. <laughs>